special guest as well. And uh, it's great to have you with us, Mark Richards. Four world titles, plenty of success here on the Gold Coast as well, mate. How have you been? Um, great, Ronnie. It's great to be up here watching the event. It's been awesome so far. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, Pete Mel still with us as well. And, and Pete, this is going to be a great heat. Joel Parkinson, obviously a two-time winner here in the past. And Pat Kodowskis making his return to the championship tour. It's interesting. They had a very close heat last year. Um, and Mikey had John on the ropes. And John came back right at the end with a great ride. So everyone was wondering, was that going to happen? He just missed that opportunity. But Joel Parkinson starting heat in typical fashion here at Snapper Rocks. A beautiful barrel ride from the outside. And that approach has taken him to the top of the podium in years gone by. And it'll be interesting to see how high the judges go with this number. It was a beautiful barrel ride this way, standing up on the inside. That classic Parco flow down the line. And he starts to loosen up on the inside as well. So throwing a little more risk at the end of this wave. And still with a bit of room to move, he can pick them. And he's picked a gem to kick off this round two heat. Joel's been on tour longer than anyone else in the field. This is his 18th year. He was there when Pac... And here goes the Californian now. Let's see what kind of response he can put together. Standing on the tail, just hanging back in the pocket, waiting for this thing to stand up and reel off down the bank. It does feel like conditions are improving. And Pat's got a nice looking wall to play with here. Needs to throw some fireworks on the finish. He does that, gets the fins free for a moment. So an exciting start to this heat, Pete, and looking forward to seeing just how deep Joel got behind the rock there. Joel Parkinson out in front. Pat Gadowskis did well in a short amount of space to rack up a 5.67, but it wasn't a great-looking way from the outset. No, and when anything starts out as slow as this one did, I mean, he saw that it had that potential down the line, and he executed some amazing moves, especially that finish move. You know, he brings excitement. This is kind of a, a little different than what we would see from, say, Joel Parkinson. And uh, that, you know, that flair comes to, to sight with uh, especially that finish move. But it's just great it, how it fosters rivalries. And we saw it even this morning as Pat Kodowskis gets another shot here. Sets the tail free in that first turn. Again, finding some release. Climbing up onto that section. Just trying to link it through to the inside. Surfing with a lot of spark at the moment. Incomplete there, but some positive signs. But as I was saying, Mark, it's just great when you, you get to this stage of the event and really there's that pressure of falling out of the mix in the first contest of the year. And, um, well, here we go, Joel yeah. Parkinson. Finding his place in this lineup. Another beautiful barrel to kick off his second ride. Second scoring ride, he had a throwaway number just prior to this wave, a uh, .93. He's going to... He, he just, it's innate, and, and sure enough, I mean, Joel literally has just surfed his way into rhythm. Dialing up another one here, tucking into the barrel once again. Still rolling through this one. Out he comes, up over the foam now, kicking that tail free. And he is amping, really getting inverted on that last section. So trying to get rid of an 8.33. The wave wasn't quite as big. It might not go there, but he's certainly looking freed up at the moment. And I think that that's a, it's, it must be a blessing for him, too, to start the season off, uh, you know, here at uh, his home break. I mean, again, just uh, this wave was probably more just for fun, just to like, oh, this looks like a little barrel. And look at that turn there. I mean, that is super dynamic, really hard to do. That's the, the potency that I was referring to earlier on. You know, Joel can, he can kind of cruise his way to pretty decent numbers. He does read a wave so well, but... You know, not a lot of space to move here, Mark, and through everything at that section. And they're the kind of moves that have been getting pretty well rewarded throughout the Roxy Pro and the Quicksilver Pro so far. Yeah, he definitely attacked that wave, and, you know, he's looking loose and fast. And I think sometimes, um, as exciting as it is to surf in your home event, I think if you polled every surfer on the tour, the event that they would all dearly love to win is their hometown event or their home country event. But sometimes it can be... I think harder than winning events in another country because you've got all the expectations that people feel like you've got an advantage because you're surfing at home. Um, you know, obviously his surfing is there. I think it comes down to when you've been on the tour for a long time, it's physically and how mentally keen you are to stay on the tour um, and how, much, how hard you want to work to put in all the training. It's, it's not just a matter of going surfing these days for a few hours to, to train. There's some really serious training goes on to 
surf at the level these guys and also the, the girls surf at. And he is the, the spark that, that really got the fire started for the Brazilians. 11 on the, of them on the championship tour this year and a, an exciting one coming up in the next heat. As we see, Pakadowska setting up a nice pit. Super deep in this one. Punches through the curtain but can't get back out in front of the foam. Really unfortunate that that wave didn't stay open for him. I mean, that would have been a nice wave to be able to bounce back in this heat. He I said guess if, that's easy. If, if you look left, you'll never get a wave. They're the only waves I can get out here. The left. <laughs> Going left. <laughs> Six and a half minutes to go here, and it's been a brutal return to championship to a competition for Pat Gadowskis, Pete, but definitely psyched to see him back on tour because he had some great performances away from the CT. And he's got the, the bonus of having done some reps on the championship tour before, so he'll use that experience well, you'd think, as he makes his way in now. This heat coming to a close. Just catching fire early on and keeping the flames burning right to the dying stages. An 8.7, an 8.33, the highest scoring heat of the event so far. And this will be, um, I mean, he, he was able to get, uh, you know, the first heat not great, but in the round two and this is going to be a huge confidence builder especially from what the surfing that we saw earlier um you know and and what he did right there and, and posting by far the, the best number so far in this round